Hello everyone and welcome to another weekly revision video. This week we're going to be talking through the working conditions of different job roles within the industry. Number one is to know what a contract is. Now this is a formal document um, that's designed to protect the employer and the employee and it explains the duties and responsibilities of each job role. Number two, a full-time permanent contract. Now if someone's got a full-time permanent contract, it means that their hours are specified and that workers are entitled to sick pay and holiday pay. Number two is part-time permanent contracts, much the same as full-time. Their work days and hours are specified and they are entitled to sick pay and holiday pay, but it's on a pro rata system. That just means that it's calculated in proportion of how many hours that are worked. Number four is about casual workers. Casual workers are usually seasonal staff or they cover busy periods. They can also be brought in to cover sick colleagues and they are entitled to sick pay and holiday pay, but again, it's dependent on how many hours they work. Number five is a zero hour contract. Now this just means that there is no minimum hours required to work and staff will be employed as and when needed. And at the same time, staff do not need to accept the hours given to them, but the contract is there and it is designed to protect both employee and employer. Zero hour staff are entitled to minimum pay and holiday pay. Number six is about working hours and there's something called a working time directive and that states that a person cannot work for more than 48 hours per week and if you're under 18 you can't work for more than eight hours per day or more than 40 hours per week. Number seven is about unsociable working hours Now, many in the catering and hospitality industry have to work long shifts and they work what we call unsociable hours. Now that could be uh, through the night, so it could be that someone's on night shift, it could be really early in the morning or really late in the evening. And chefs can sometimes work a split shift. Now that means they might come in and work through the lunch service and then they may go home and come back again and work the dinner service. Number eight is about rates of pay. And for this you need to understand the difference between a salary and a wage okay so a salary is a set amount that someone is paid per period of time so it could be that they're paid an annual salary so they know exactly how much they get in per year and then that's divided over the months the next one is the wage and that just means that an employee is normally paid a set amount per period of time it's usually by the hour so it's also called the hourly rate Okay, so the difference between a salary is that they have a fixed amount per year and a wage is a fixed amount per hour. Number nine is holiday entitlement. Now most employees are entitled to 28 days paid holiday uh, days per year. Now it's up to the employer, they can also include the bank holidays in that entitlement. Now part-time staff, will be entitled to the same but pro rata so their holiday entitlement will be based around the amount of hours that they work. Number 10 is about remuneration. Now there's all sorts of extras uh, that staff in the hospitality industry can get on top of their salary or their wage. Things like bonuses, tips, subsidized food and accommodation even and that is just all the extra stuff on top of their salary or their wage and that's called remuneration so that's my top 10 on different working conditions different job roles within the industry join me next week where we'll be looking at factors affecting the success of a business bye see you next time